Well, we have to admit that the Pathfinder panel in Adobe Illustrator is very useful and a little bit confusing. So in this video, I'm going to give you a tour of all the buttons, show you what they do, tell you if they leave you with a group or with missing strokes and that sort of thing. This is an excerpt from my beginning Illustrator course, and I hope you like it. Let's take a look. And we'll just walk through this and see what every one of the shape modes and the pathfinders do that are on the pathfinder panel. So I'll just zoom in over here. The first four shape modes here are these four buttons here on the pathfinder. In this column, I have the original shapes. And in this column, I have the resulting shapes. So this is like before and after. In this column, there's a description of every function. And I'll just start by selecting these first three circles and click on Unite. And we can see all shapes combined and the top object's color is applied. So that green circle determines the appearance of the final object. So that's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna undo that, then come over here to minus front. In this case, we have a green circle and an orange circle on top of this blue circle. So when I click on minus front, those two circles cut into the blue circle and that blue stroke and fill is reapplied to the remaining shape. I'll undo that. And now I'll select this. For intersect, we're gonna be left with just this little shape here. So it's the overlap between all three of these circles. And this is the button here on the Pathfinder panel. All right, I'll undo that. Now, something important to notice about all three of these is that they always result in a single path, as you can see here. That could be a compound path if a hole was cut into the shape, but it's always a path with one appearance, one color. This fourth shape mode, Exclude, results in multiple paths. So I'll just select this and then click the Exclude button on the Pathfinder and we can see just the areas of overlap here are excluded. And because the result is made up of multiple paths, we have a group here. So I'm gonna ungroup this, Command or Control, Shift G. And I can move these little pieces apart. And let's look at this in outline mode, Command or Control Y. There are no inner shapes here, just these four leftover shapes. And I'll undo that. And now let's move over to this empty space here uh, because I wanna demonstrate another thing that you can do with these shape modes. All of these shape modes create a compound shape by holding Option or Alt. So any of these four shape modes, if you hold Option or Alt, you create a compound shape, which means that here I'm just drawing a collection of circles and I'll select all of these and let's unite them. I'm holding Option or Alt while I click, and this creates kind of a non-destructive edit. So instead of just having a shape like this where there's no inner circles, over here I have the circle still available for editing. So I can rearrange this a little bit, maybe resize these a little bit, kind of like I'm editing inside of a group. So that is a compound shape, not to be confused with a compound path. And we can see that name right up here in the upper left corner. When you have a compound shape, the expand button on the Pathfinder panel is available. And when you click expand, it's as if we never held Option or Alt in the first place. This is just a single path and there are no inner paths here. So that's a compound shape. Here's another example. I'll just take a circle and put another circle over it. And let's do minus front. So I'm gonna hold Option or Alt and click on minus front. And now we can see there's that inner shape that with my white arrow, I'm able to rearrange in there. And then if I select this and click on the expand button, once again, this is just a normal minus front. And in the upper left corner, it's just a path. All right. So that's something that you can do just with these shape modes here holding Option or Alt. Now let's move over to the Pathfinders. In this first one, divide, each overlap becomes a shape and each object's color is retained. So that's this right here, divide. 
And if we look at the before and the after, we can see the strokes inside. Let's go ahead and ungroup the result here. And I'll nudge some of these shapes aside. So basically divide cookie cutters through everything and then reapplies the appearance. And if I look at this in outline mode, we can see there are no extra inner paths there. So that's divide. And down here, I've drawn a little arrow here to show that these also are part of a group result. So they result in multiple paths, all of these pathfinders here. And they're also abutting paths. So when I say abutting, that means the edges are absolutely touching, absolutely perfectly lined up like that. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe. And I also have an email list. You can join that and I'll send you my best illustrator tips twice a month. Now, the next three pathfinders, trim, merge, and crop, all remove the stroke. So here we have trim, merge, and crop. And looking at the before and after, we can see with trim, there's no stroke. I've outlined these with a little bit of blue just so that we could see what the paths look like here in this diagram. So we have one, two, three perfectly abutting cookie cutter shapes. Their fill colors are retained, but the stroke has been removed. And if we look at this in outline mode, we can see the distinct paths there. And of course, if I ungroup this, I can just nudge these apart like that. So that's trim. These two, trim and merge, are related. So I've put this little bracket here. In the case of merge, the two orange shapes become a single shape. So any shape that is the same color will be merged together. Now let's move down to crop. Crop also removes the stroke. And like an expanded clipping mask, the top object cuts down through the lower objects, but leaves an invisible remnant shape. So this is one of those things that you'll have to be on the lookout for when you're working with crop. Let's go ahead and select the before here, and I'll come over to the Pathfinder panel and click on crop. I've outlined the remnant shape here uh, because it's hard to see, but if I select it and ungroup, this is an actual invisible, no fill, no stroke shape here. And then the other two shapes have been cut by the green circle. So that's crop. Now I'm gonna just undo to get back to the original shapes. Next we have outline, and this is different because it removes the fill. So I'll go ahead and select the before shapes and click on outline right here. And look at the result. It has a very strange little artifact on the stroke here. And that's actually because if we look up at the top control bar, the stroke is set to zero points. So I'm not exactly sure why that happens, but over in this example here, I've just increased the stroke weight. So let's go ahead and do one of these. So you can see it better. So this is basically what outline does. The fill colors become the stroke colors, and it leaves you with a zero point stroke, but you can, of course, change that. So I'll undo that so we get back to those original shapes. And then finally, down here, we have minus back. And this has always been a puzzle to me because it's just the reverse of minus front. So why is it not a shape mode? That I don't know. But in this case, the bottom shapes cut the top shape and it retains the green color of the top shape. All right, so that is a tour of the shape modes and the pathfinders on the pathfinder panel. I hope it helped you and you might even wanna bookmark this to come back to later as a resource. I'm Laura Coyle, I teach Adobe Illustrator here on YouTube and in my online learning community. You can find out more at my website at lauracoylecreative.com and thank you for watching.